and shit inside the field. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The purpose of this project is uh, to cool down the coil at 4K. And in order to be that, we need uh, to have a very good vacuum around the system. This is a, a, a thermal insulation. The vacuum is, is acting as a thermal insulation. And so we need uh, to put the coil inside the cryostat and to evacuate this cryostat to work under vacuum condition. So from uh, today, in the morning, we get the coil that was stored on the support frame in uh, yellow here. And uh, we start to lift uh, with the gantry crane. The gantry crane is a red frame. And then, so we, we lift up uh, the frame and we move along the axis of the gantry rail. So as you see, we have uh, these rail and we put the TF coil on the top of the cryostar. So now from uh, this position, we are doing a fine adjustment in the transverse uh, direction in order to fit the final position and we go down. Inside the cryosta, we have four supports on which we are going to land uh, the TF, very smoothly, of course. And uh, once it is uh, landed, uh, we will start to fix uh, the position of the coil and to attach it on uh, what we call a fixed point. And this fixed point will be our reference for all the next operation. So after the insertion of the TF inside the cryosta, uh, what we are going to do is to take the cover next week. We put it on the top of the cryosta and we start the evacuation. So it means we pump inside the cryosta in order to reach uh, pressure uh, in the range of 10 to minus 3 millibar. According to the current plant in between the tokamak assembly and our, and our facility, we are going to test three TF coil from the tokamak. Then we go to the test of the spare TF coil and then PF1. Today, this was for us the first coil to be um, inserted into the cryostat. This is a very exciting movement and uh, even though we handle uh, these large coils daily with uh, different tools, different situations, so we were very nervous today, but uh, we are very happy that uh, we, we are able to insert the coil without any issue and we can go on to the next step uh, safely.